Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? We have into bracket x minus 5 square equals to x cubed plus 1. From here, let's use the first method. We have two methods here. On the first method here, we can expand the left hand side, and this will give us x square, then minus 2 times x times 5, that's minus 10x. Then plus 5 square, which is 25, then equals to x cube plus 1. Then from here, we can take everything to one side. That is, we write this side first, then we rearrange, we, we take everything on this side to that side. So x square comes there, become minus x square. Then minus 10 to that side become plus 10x. Then we have plus 1, then minus 25, which is equal to 0 now. Then next step, we have x cube minus x square plus 10x. Then this will be minus 24 equals to 0. From here, we can get one of the roots of this polynomial and then we by inspection we can let's put x equals to 1 here so when x equals to 1 1 raised to the power 3 is 1 minus 1 squared that's 1 plus 10 times 1 that's 10 minus 24 so here 1 minus 1 that's 0 then 10 minus 24 minus 14 this is not equals to 0 here that means x equals to 1 is not a root. 1 is not a root. Then let's test for x equals to 2 here. Substitute 2 here. 2 raised to the power 3, that's 8. Minus 2 raised to the power 2, that's 4. Then plus 10 times 2, that's 20. Then minus 24. Here, this is 4. Then 4 plus 20, 24 minus 24, 0. So 2 is a root of this polynomial and uh, which implies that x minus 2 will be a factor now to get the other factor of this polynomial that is what will be the other factor we can divide through using synthetic division here that is divide by 2 from the coefficient of the polynomial what we have here is 1 then we have minus 1 for the power of 2 then plus 10 for the coefficient of x we have 10 then for the constant we have minus 24 now for the synthetic division we drop 1 here then 2 times 1 here will give us 2 we write 2 here then we add this together that will give us 1 then 2 times 1, that's 3, 2. We had this together, that's 12. Then 2 times 12, that's 24. We had this together, that's 0. So this confirms that 2 is a root of that polynomial. Then from here, the remaining factor, which will be quadratic, we have this coefficient. So that is, we have x squared, then plus x. Then plus 12, which is constant, will then be equal to 0. So, therefore, here we have this has been simplified as x minus 2 into bracket x square plus x plus 12, which is equal to 0. So, the two cases from here we have x minus 2 equals to 0, or we have x square plus x plus 12 equals to 0. Then here, x is equals to 2 from here. Then on this side, we use quadratic formula. That is, we have x equals to minus b, that's minus 1, plus or minus square root of b square, that's 1 square, minus 4a, that's 1, then c, that's 12, then over 2a, 2 times 1. Then from here, this gives us x to be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 
48 over 2. And uh, 1 minus 48, they give us minus 47. That's the square root of minus 47. And square root of minus 47 will be square root of 47 r. So here we can say this is x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 47 i over 2. Here we have two complex solutions and here we have one resolution. This is for the first method. Then for the second way of solving this, here let's add 9 to both sides of this given equation then yeah this will be plus minus nine let's subtract nine rather from both sides so here minus nine here minus nine from this side and here this will be written as x minus y then square minus nine square which we can write as three square then equals to when we subtract nine on this side you know plus one minus nine that's minus eight and that can be written, 8 there can be written as 2 raised to power 3. So that will give us x raised to power 3, then minus 2 raised to power 3. Then from here, applying the difference of 2 squares from here, so this will be x minus 5 plus 3, then times x minus 5 minus 3. Which is equal to applying difference of two cube from here. This will be x minus two. Then we have into bracket x square plus two x plus two square, which is four. Then here yeah, now we can simplify this bracket, and uh, here we have x minus two left. Then multiply by here we have x minus 8, which is equal to x minus 2. Then into bracket, here we have x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then, yeah, let's take this side, everything here to that side, and then we write this side first, which is x minus 2 now. Then multiply by x squared plus 2x plus 4 then we now have minus into bracket x minus 2 then x minus 8 which should then be equal to 0 now then from here we have x minus 2 x minus 2 common so we have x minus 2 out then what is left here is x squared plus 2x plus 4 then we have minus into bracket x minus 8 left here, close bracket equals to 0. Then from here, when we simplify this bracket, this will be x minus 2, then into bracket x squared plus 2x plus 4, then minus x plus 8 now, then be equals to 0. So let's bring the like terms together here. Then we have x minus 2, then into bracket x squared, then 2x minus x, that's plus x, then 4 plus 8, that's plus 12, which is equal to 0 from here. Then the two cases we have are x minus 2 equals to 0, and the x squared plus x plus 12 equals to zero so here x equals to two which same as what we have earlier and this could draw equation is same thing we solved earlier which was x equals to minus one plus or minus root 47 i over two so here we have these two ways of solving this problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos put your comments in the comment section Thank you. See you next class. Bye for now.